Welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video we will look at problem 1201 from Likud. Here is the problem statement and pause this video for a second. Try to come up with your own solution or pseudocode. I do want to mention that do not get discouraged if you cannot find a way to solve this problem. Um, that's why I made a video for you guys and yeah, just don't get discouraged. Here is my strategy is I'll be using the binary search and you do have to know some math knowledge. I'm not talking about like high level, like graduate stuff, like graduate level of math. You just need to know like middle school, like math knowledge, but it's something that we rarely ever use once we are above, once we pass that middle school um, curriculum, we, we don't ever use this kind of knowledge. But anyway, that's, I mean, we, we have a problem like this from the leak code and this one is where we can use binary search. Let's just look at this, how we can solve this like stupid problem. I'll be using that example here. Uh, in this case, n is equal to 3, but I just said n, n is equal to 4. Any number that is divisible by 2, 3, or 5, and we want to find the fourth number that is divisible by a, b, or c. Let's say if we are at here. My plan is I'll be using the binary search. And then, so if I say, if I use binary search on this number, the low will be one, high will be 10, the middle number will be five. Yeah, it is five. And then we want to know how many numbers are divisible by, you know, two, three, or five until up to and including this number five. Well, we have two and four, that is two numbers divisible by two. And how do we calculate that? Well, we do this one, right? We do five double backslash two, that will give us two. And then same thing here for uh, number divisible by three. We have three itself, and that is what? Five divided by three. And then for five itself, we have just five, I mean, double slash five, that will give us one. But we are not exactly done yet because we do have to take into account um, multiplicative number. So in other words, we do have to consider a number that is divisible by six, right? Two times three, that is six. We do have to consider a number that is divisible by two times five, and then three times five. Not to mention that we also have to take into account when a number is divisible by product of those all three numbers, that will be 30. So we, we do have to take those repetition. And how, what do I mean by this? Ta-da! Did you guys remember this like Venn diagram? <laughs> so um, the first, this big circle is multiples of A. This one is multiples of B. And then this big circle is multiples of C. Okay. Now to find the number that is you know divisible, divisible by A or B or C, uh, not including the multiplication, multiplicative numbers, we do have to subtract this 4, we do have to subtract this 5, and then we do have to subtract this 6, and then we have to add 7. What do I mean by this? So um, I will talk about this part later, but um, so remember this part, like uh, we would have something like, um, so yeah, so we want to find the number like that is multiples of A or B or C, but not including those repetition. And the way we do that is we have a multiples of A time plus multiples of B plus multiples of C. And then this pink region that is LCM of A and B. LCM means least common multiple. So there will be this four. And then LCM of B and C, there will be six. And then LCM of A and C will be five. And then the seven itself will be LCM of A, B, and C. So we do have to add multiples of A plus multiples of B plus multiples of C, subtract LCM of A and C, LCM of A and B, LCM of B and C. And then we do have to add LCM of A and B and C. Now, the big, now you'll be asking, how do you calculate the LCM? Yeah, that's the difficult part in this example. So if I'll be, I'm using Python and you can import math module and then inside the math module, we have our GCD function. I think it is called math.gcd. Let me double check. Yeah, 
So we have a math.gcd here. So, um, so, that's, so this is the definition of LCM. And LCM of A, B, and C, that is, you can write it as LCM of LCM of A and B and C. And then using this exact definition, plug it in here, we have LCM of these two numbers. And then using the definition of LCM, we have, so A, this one is going to be this big number. And then times C, we have a, for the denominator, we have GCD of A, I mean this A now is A times B over GCD of A and B. And then we have C. And then that this part, like this number, we can write it as, you know, um, LCM of A and B and LCM of A and B. Um, yeah, so actually you, we don't even need this part. I don't know why I include it here. So from here, we can just use this definition. And then so A will be LCM of A and B. So we would have just LCM of A and B times C, GCD of LCM of A and B and C. So just forget about this part. This part was not necessary. Okay. And so, um, and then, so that's for this part and uh, where, so how do I use the binary search? So this is where binary search comes in. Um, in this example, we have the lowest number is one, highest number is two times 10 to the power of nine. The one naive way, so naive way of doing this problem will be, you can use like for loop and then like for each number, we can just test, you know, how many numbers are like um, divis divisible by like A, B, or C up to that number. Um, like if the number itself, like if this highest number is small, that like you can use for loop and just enumerate, like either iterate this. But then if number is this big, like we have a 10 to the power of nine, then I don't think that is a good idea. So that's where we are going to use the binary search. Now the binary search, remember, we will be calculating the middle number and then we want to check if like the, the basic structure of binary search is that we have a middle number and then we want to check if this middle number is feasible or not. If it is feasible, then we do have to say, sometimes we do have to set high equal to middle number. Otherwise we do have to set low equal to middle plus one, something like that. So. The key idea is that every time we run a binary search, we do have to get rid of like half of the search space every single time we run a binary search. So in this case, I will call a helper function. It is called is feasible, and we want to plug plug in this middle number five. So we want to see what we get. So if is feasible of five is either true or false, uh, that will depend. That will make the, um, the next search space different. If true, meaning that is feasible is bigger than or equal to n, that is when this guy will be true. Otherwise, it is false. If it is true, that means we, will, we do have to set high equal to middle number. So in this case, high was initially 10, but now it will be five. Otherwise, um, middle um, low will be otherwise. So if this is false, then low has to be middle plus one, something like that. And I talked about this. So here, so here is my code. As you can see, um, LCM of A and B, I just wrote it as, I wrote it as A underscore B, and that is given by this equation. B underscore C is LCM of B and C. A and C is LCM of A, A and C. So A underscore B underscore C will be LCM of A and B and C, and then, our is feasible is this function, like it's exactly this guy. That is this guy. So the result will be equal to nums, num double slash a, there will be multiples of a, nums under double slash b, there will be multiples of b. So there will be numbers of multiples of b. Uh, and then we have nums, num underscore c, I mean num double slash c, we will get multiples of c, I mean the number of multiples of c. And then we have, what is it? The LCM of A and C, there will be num divide double slash B underscore C. Uh, so those are, those are this LCM of A and C, LCM of A and B. 
something like that. And then we have the final guy. So that will be this guy, LCM of A, B, and C. So we do that by num double slash A underscore B underscore C. So that will give us some number that it will be integer, positive integer. And if this is bigger than or equal to N, then will give us, so we will get a either Boolean value true or false. If result is bigger than or equal to N, they will be true. So we will be, um, so high will become the mid. In other words, if I have something like, so this is low, this is high, middle is five. And if is feasible of five is say true, that means our high will become mid. So high was here, but now high will be here. So the next time we run binary search, we are not looking at six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We don't. We forget about it. We are looking at just this space. Okay. Otherwise, we set low equal to mid plus one, and then we keep doing it until this while loop is, you know, not true. Then we return the low number. So this is binary search plus some math knowledge. And so yeah, I, I don't think you should get discouraged if you cannot solve this problem. I certainly don't remember like LCM, LCM anymore like this so you can see that like I don't even need to do this part just use definition on on this so from here you can go straight to here you don't need to know, you don't need to do this part I don't, I don't think this is necessary and I mean I could be wrong like I I don't really remember LCM anymore so anyway that's for this um, let's look at the code and see what we get so here is the code for this problem and let's run this together. I think I run it like a few times before I run it in front of you guys, but so it should be something similar, yeah, around that time. Huh. So yeah, so anyway, that's for this video. Um I can talk about ugly number two and I will talk about I think is it it is called my schedule, right? The video before this. So I will talk about that. I will talk about binary search and numerical linear algebra. I really hope that this video helps you guys understanding this problem. If you have comments or questions, you can write it down. And if I can answer your questions, I will definitely answer them. If I don't know, then I will be, I will tell you guys, I don't know how to do this. Um, the time complexity for this problem will be like log n, something like that. Um, because it's a, it is a binary search, so it should be very, very fast. Uh, yeah, so, um, well, that is for this video, and I will see you guys next time. Okay, bye-bye, and take care.